Today we're at 5220 Breezewood, which is right in the center of the popular River Point Estates subdivision. Uh, we're in the Penn School System and quite uh, very close to the high school, uh, just on the south side of the river. We have a four bedroom, two and a half bath home with really large rooms, all new replacement windows and a new roof. Um, why don't we go inside and take a look? Here we are just in front of the entry door at 5220 Breezewood. The camera is actually in the formal living room right now, uh, which has the double French glass doors so that you can close that area off for privacy. You could possibly use it as a large den. Uh, adjacent to my left is the stairs going upstairs, and then of course the dining room uh, behind me. So the two front rooms would be your formal living and your formal dining. So a very traditional floor plan uh, for this style of house that was built in 1980. And um, what I'd like to just mention is that the rooms are very large for a formal living in a formal dining room. In the back portion of the main level of the house, uh, I'm obviously standing in the kitchen, we have a really nice sized eat-in area with a double hinged door going out to the screen porch. And as well, the kitchen is very nicely appointed uh, with regard to all of the oak cabinetry. All of the appliances do go with the home. The camera is at this moment in the eat-in breakfast area, panning around from the dining room down the hallway to the entry door, and then working around the opposite uh, view of the back of the floor plan to the family room. One thing I'd like to point out is the, the wood coffered ceiling, all the wainscoting around uh, the walls, and, and something else I neglected to point out in the front is that the entire house has basically got a coat of paint. And although we say not to look at the decorating, the colors that they used are very trendy right now. This is a very good sized um, family area and there's also a six foot sliding door going out to a concrete patio adjacent to the screen porch. We're actually in the master bedroom right now uh, viewing the, the door out to the hallway. One of the things I'd like to mention too that I talked about in the beginning was uh, the replacement windows. Uh, these were all done by a local contractor that actually has a transferable lifetime warranty um, we're viewing into the master bath right now. There's also a very large master closet off the side of the master bath. And uh, I wanted to point out too that there is a dual bowl vanity in what is, quite frankly, a very large master bath in general. From the master bedroom facing down the hall to the other three bedrooms, uh, we have three basically like sized bedrooms with ample closet space. Uh, to my right here is the second bathroom that would be the uh, the three bedrooms shared, and behind me is a very nice sized linen closet. Uh, we also have a lot of storage space in the basement. Uh, none of it is finished at this point. There is uh, some paneling down there and some lighting fixtures, so it could be usable, uh, but it's a very large basement. Uh, as well, the garage uh, actually is insulated, so that uh, if you wanted to use that as a small workshop or just heated space in the winter, you can do that. Uh, the backyard's very good sized. I'm told there's a lot of uh, flowers and and landscaping surprises this spring. So thanks for viewing our tour today and uh, hopefully we can schedule a showing.